Hi, Loma Verde, Mrs. Chima here. We just finished um, uh, celebrating um, Inclusive Schools Week. We want to make sure that everyone at school feels included and part um, of our community and our um, space here at Loma Verde and in the world. Um, I have a book for you. It's called Olivia Wrapped in Vines. Um, it's written by Maud Napu Villanueva. And I wonder what the wines stand for in this. So let's read it. Olivia wrapped in vine. My name is Olivia. I have a bike with two wheels, red shoes with stars on them, a stuffed lion who's super soft, and vines. Hmm. My vines are full of thorns. They grow on my belly and sometimes they walk all around me. I'm not exactly sure why. All I know is that they make me really uncomfortable. My vines stop me from moving like I want to, and when they wrap around me, I turn into a big spiky ball that no one wants to be near. Here's a list of things that make my vines grow. Number one, seeing a spider in my room, or in the bathroom, the living room, the park, or really anywhere. Number two, fighting with my friend. Number three, being late. Number four, going to the dentist. Number five, being at the top of the big slide with everyone waiting behind me. Number six, talking to strangers. And number seven, sometimes nothing at all. The problem is I don't know how to get rid of them and they make me feel like I need to take a nap. It might not sound like a big deal, but fighting with prickly plants is really tiring. And the worst part is I'm the only one who can see them. Hmm. My vines often show up at school. They seem to grow fast there too. It might be because my classroom is so warm. At least my class has Solange, our teacher. Her voice is soft and she's very funny. She likes to give us all sorts of weird nicknames. Look at what's happening in a classroom. But even Solange can always get my vines to go away, especially when we go to the pool like today. Come on, my little monkey and flip-flops. Don't be the last into the water. Because at the pool, there's the springboard. Uh oh, that's making her nervous. Go ahead, my little chocolate frog. Jump, I'm waiting for you. I hate the springboard. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, two and a quarter, two and a half. I can't do it. Everyone will make fun of me. I'm afraid Solange will be mad at me. What if she thinks I didn't listen to her on purpose? She'll be angry and she might write a note in my take-home book for mom and dad and then they'll be mad at me too. What's going on, my little pigtailed fish? It's too hard to explain what's happening to me. It feels like my worries are too big. Come on, Olivia, let's climb down together. She got someone to help. Later in class, I try to do my math work like everyone else, but I can't do the problems. Olivia, do you need help? It's my vines. They won't let me think. Have you tried our breathing exercises? They don't work. Hmm, I have an idea. Close your eyes. Can you imagine yourself cutting the vines down? Okay, I'll try. It's a good strategy. There she is, trying to cut down her vines. Does that feel better, my little weeping hedgehog? Yes. What made everything thorny today? I was afraid you were going to get angry when I didn't jump off the springboard. Oh, I wouldn't be angry about that, my little cat in pajamas. You'll try again next time, and you'll be more comfortable. That's the best we can do. Trying again, that's right. My name is Olivia. I have a bike with two wheels, red shoes with stars on them, and a stuffed lion who's super soft. I also have vines, but I'm learning to live with them. Do you guys have any vines? Sometimes I get the vines. And then I have to try a strategy that works for me that cuts down those vines. All right. I hope you have a great day. Go Bears.